Hey, everybody's going down, guys. Talking around here, back for another video. In today's video, I've got a bit of a, of a review of the past two games. I've, I'm sorry I haven't been able to get reviews up for them straight after the game. Obviously, Charlton was the Tuesday night. It's ever so tough for me to get uh, content out after them Tuesday night games. Um, I did get some out on over on the Carrow Crowd YouTube channel. I got a lot of fan interviews posted. They're always good fun to watch. And last night, I was out. So let's look back at two very frustrating games where we got only one point out of a possible six from two home games. Let's start at Charlton. We lost 1-0. Uh, Johnny Jackson scored a late goal for them. And to be honest, we played some pretty decent football that game. I know after the game, if you've watched my interviews on the Carrow Crowd, I was very frustrated um, with the way we performed. But actually, looking back, having time to re reflect on it, I thought we played some decent football. We had some fantastic chances. We had two stonewall penalties that weren't given and a disallowed goal that also should have counted. So when you look at them, three key parts of the game, it could have easily been 2-3, 4-0. But instead, we lost 1-0. We didn't take our chances. I thought we, we created chances, and we had a few decent ones that we didn't take. The referee was absolutely disgusted. I thought it was one of the worst refereeing performances I've ever seen. And then we were unlucky for them to score. It was a, it was a big deflection, and possibly Ruddy could have done better. I'm not so sure and they, it was a typical smash-and-grab win. Rotherham yesterday was slightly more of a poor performance. I didn't think we ever really looked that great. The first half, we played some decent football. Um, how that Jerome chance hasn't gone in where he's had like three shots is an incredible triple save from the keeper. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll link the highlights video in the, des in the description. And then they just got the other end, one long ball, and... Ruddy comes out and absolutely clatters Matt Derbyshire. And it's slightly worrying that we were cut open with one ball, uh, one long ball. But also we were throwing a lot of men forwards and we were very unlucky not to score. So the goal wasn't too bad to concede. But second half, we should have scored. Um, we were very sort of one-dimensional, never really had a looked like we had a plan B. And we did finally grab a goal through Jerome, but we had so many chances to, to win that game. And it was very, very frustrating. Again, we were quite unlucky. We hit the post. The referee wasn't great. But we can't keep blaming it on, on bad luck and, and refereeing performances. We have to start earlier. We have to get into the game earlier. And I've said this from since day one. We've played very good football this season. We're still top of the league. And you could say I'm, I'm being slightly pessimistic considering how well we're doing. But if we want to secure automatic promotion this season, we're going to have to start games earlier. What I mean by that is scoring goals in the first 15 minutes. Mm. So far, I can't remember the last time we scored a goal in the first 15 minutes. And that is what's, that's what's going wrong. If we, were to, if we were to score a goal in the first 15 minutes of the Charlton Rotherham game, we would have gone on to win that game 3 or 4-0 easily because they would then have to come and attack at us to get anything out of the game, and we would cut them open. But because we're letting them gradually get into the game, they can defend very deep, and we're finding it very difficult to break them down. That's my personal thoughts. I think we have to start putting a lot more effort into the early stage of the, stages of the game. It just looks like we're just trying to settle into the game. We have to go full force from minute one. Um, also, yesterday, I thought we were slightly slow to get forwards. Um, I think when we got the ball on, on the flanks... And also in the middle, we sort of stalled a bit and, and looked for men be either behind us or or uh, left or right. And we never really got the ball forwards and created that many opportunities. I think the formation has to change going into the next game. I'm not a massive fan of this 4-4-2. It looks very flat. I was a much bigger fan of the 4-2-3-1. I think Graben should be dropped, in my opinion. Um, I don't think he's warranted a starting lineup this past couple of games. He looks slightly off the pace. And when he has had chances, he hasn't taken them. I'd love to see Lafferty come back in the lineup. He played yesterday. Well, he was subbed on yesterday and made the whole difference. I'd put Jerome up top on his own. Um, probably put Houlihan, Lafferty and Redmond in behind him. Um, it's, it's quite a, We've got so many players now. We can really adjust with formations and players. And we should do instead of keeping it the same. But we're still looking good. We're still top of the league. I'm still feeling confident ahead of this season. There's just a few things we need to change that could make big, big differences. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Please like it, share it, and all of that good stuff. And peace out.